Hello, welcome back to Asia Africa Entrepreneur Series. This week we will discuss on the entrepreneur process. This lecture is presented by Ajang Professor Huang Sun Fu. Learning objective. At the end of this lecture, participants will be able to understand the step in the entrepreneur process, discuss how to become an entrepreneur, develop successful business idea, launching the entrepreneur venture, managing and growing the entrepreneur firm. Entrepreneurship is the pursuit of market opportunities to produce innovative goods and services. Once the enterprise get established, the entrepreneur process become effectively a recurring process of opportunity. Entrepreneurship is a continuous process that needs to be followed by entrepreneur to plan and launch new ventures more efficiently. So what is entrepreneur process? The entrepreneur process can be expressed as a set of procedures and methodologies that are followed by entrepreneurs for establishing a new business or venture. All the phases in the entrepreneur process have certain meaning and function, functionality which one has to trail and pursue for setting up a venture. The entrepreneur process consists of four steps. Step one, deciding to become an entrepreneur. Step two, developing successful business idea. Step 3, launching the entrepreneur venture and finally step 4, managing and growing the firm. Let's move to step 1, deciding to be an entrepreneur. Aspiring of an innovative idea back up the ability to start a business. Inheriting wealth and skill to establish an enterprise. Prevailing problem in current jobs. Willing to become own job boss, pursuing own ideas, realizing the need of earning money. An entrepreneur is a problem seeker, a problem solver, and an innovator. This, now let's move to the step two, developing a successful business idea. Once a person has decided to be an entrepreneur, he has to move to this step. And this step in developing a successful business idea will include five components. One, opportunity recognition. Two, feasibility analysis. Three, writing a business plan. Four, industry and competitive analysis. Five, development of an effective model. Now let's go through the five stages. Stage, step one. Opportunity recognition. An opportunity is a favorable set of circumstances that create a need for new product, service, or business. An entrepreneur recognizes a problem or an opportunity gap and create a business to fill it. The key to opportunity is to identify a product or service that people need and willing to buy, not one that an entrepreneur wants to make and sell. Having recognized the opportunity, the next step is a feasibility analysis. A business idea fails if it falls short on one of the four components of feasibility analysis. Product service feasibility, industrial target market feasibility, organization feasibility, and financial feasibility. We will go through this analysis in a later lecture. Three, developing a business plan. A business plan is a document that summarizes the operational and financial objective of a business and contains the detailed plans and budget showing how the objectives are to be realized. It is a roadmap to the success of your business. After the feasibility analysis, for anyone starting a business, it is a vital step. A business plan is the due diligence that will prevent you from wasting time and money on a venture that won't work. After developing the business plan, we need to do the industry analysis. An industry is a group of firms producing a similar product or service, such as music, 
fitness drink or electronic games. Once it is determined that a new venture is feasible in regard to the industry and its market, target market, a more in-depth analysis is indeed to learn the ins and outs of the industry and firm plans to enter. This analysis helps a firm determine if the niche or target market is identified during its feasibility analysis are accessible and which ones represent the best point of entry for the new firm. Developing a business model. A business model is a plan for successful operation of a business. Identify sources of revenue, the intended customer base, product and details of financing. It is a company plan for making a profit. It identifies the product or service the business plan to sell. It identifies target market and any anticipated expenses. So having gone through developing a successful business idea, the next step is the launching of the entrepreneurial venture. Once the business idea has been successfully validated, the first step towards making it real is to register the business and launch the venture. The entrepreneur has to select a legal entity that best suits the venture and gets the proper business licenses, permits and understanding of local government laws. The entrepreneur must arrange for the required funds find a suitable location, build a new venture team, and move on with the venture, especially in securing customers and sales and serving customer needs. So having launched the entrepreneur venture, the final step is managing and growing the firm. Managing and growing the firm. It refers to the final stage of the entrepreneur process. Once the resources are required, the entrepreneur uses them efficiently to carry out the business plan successfully. He or she also strives to identify and examine the operational problem and solve them. So apart from this, the entrepreneur needs to implement an effective control system to identify and resolve problem areas of time. The growth of the enterprise depends on the selection of an appropriate target market. The entrepreneur needs to take into account the four P's, product, price, promotion and place of the marketing for the growth and development of the enterprise. So with this, we come to the end of the four steps of the entrepreneur process. Thank you for watching. For more lecture, please subscribe to my YouTube, Wang Sun Tu.